Yeah. Now that we have our piece for our ceiling backing, uh, we can set it in place for the drywallers. Now, for a two by four wall, you can get away with using two by six, uh, centered right above your two by four wall. That usually ends up leaving about three quarters of an inch to each side. But if you have material in the area that's bigger, um, it's always nice to use. The drywallers will definitely appreciate that as they'll have way more to screw their ceiling drywall into. So, now installing the ceiling backing. And as you can see, we've got lots of room here for the drywallers, so they'll absolutely love you. Nail into the side, twist up through the top double top plate of the wall. Make sure that this is flush. The reason is it's, it's hanging too low. As their ceiling drywall comes over, it will cause the drywall to sit low, and you'll see that bump in the ceiling drywall always, especially after it's painted. So make sure that this is nice and flush, both sides. Nail into the joist. And we'll go around to the other side and nail through that side as well, the same way. Making this nice and strong and firm for the drywallers.